I got the supersonic weight on the bench. Um, took her out yesterday and desoldered one of the uh, motor wires here, or motor terminals, I should say. Uh, was only running five and a half or six mil terminals on on here. Should have been running eight. Um, it was just a, it was just what I had on the motor. I, you know, just pulled the motor just from a from a draw. So I didn't bother changing them and I paid the price. But in the end, it wasn't that bad because I didn't realize while it was running that the motor was getting boiling hot. So I was running the smallest possible prop that I've got with a quarter inch shaft, 55.14. I've got 52.14s on their way. I'll be here next week. Um, I was only, only running on 10S instead of 12S because I knew you know the, the prop was gonna to be too big for 12s so i was going to fix this up but then i thought well what's the point in doing that because i'm just going to run it again on the with the with the smaller prop it did 90 99 k's an hour as a hot setup yesterday so i'd put, be putting the 52 on there i know it's probably going to drop from 99 to you know 92 or something like that and be the temps are going to be okay i actually don't need to run do that experiment because i know what's going to happen again and I actually prefer if I can just get um, 12S in there anyway. So to do 12S with the props I've got available, which are not, you know, small enough for, for 12S for that motor, I've actually got to change out the motor. So I did, you know, did get some families out of stock to fix this, but I'm actually not going to do that now. So what I pulled from stock is a 4090 instead of 4070. So it's 20 mils longer. I think these are like 120 two millimeters or 123 millimeters long so they're huge and a 730 kv instead of 880 that will definitely allow me to run 12s um, and it should be fine with this prop like I'll, I'll try it on 10s to start with with this 55 mil prop and i know everything will run cool if i run that um, and based on those temperatures i get from that it will tell me if I can run 12S with that prop. And I think I'll be able to, but like I say, if it's even slightly warm, um, I'll just wait till the 52 mil props come in and run on 12S and it'll be fine. So got one of these massive 2XL coolers that we make for these motors. They're 105 millimeters long. I think we're the only ones that make a cooler that big. So I'll get some terminals on that one and uh, I think it'll bolt straight in. I'm just not quite sure, like with the extra length, if it's going to interfere with the mount I've made for this. So I'll have to pull it all out and, and have a look. I'll have a look at that bad boy. This one, the 50, 4090 actually measures 127 mils long. The 4070 that I had in there before was 106 mils long. So 20 mils longer. They both run the eight mil shafts. Um, everyone's, you know, sort of saying, why don't you just put a 56 mil motor in there? And well, obviously I could, it's just a little bit more work to do that. And I'm not actually losing much in power by going this way. A um, 5670 in TP, which is actually 102 millimeters long. The most, the most common motor we sell is a 5660. So I, get, I think they're 92. So a 5670, which is a reasonable size motor, um, comparing to the 4090, if you look at the, the power, the 4090 continuous is 7,200 watts. The 5670 is only 6,500 watts. The maximum is 1,300. The maximum on the 5670 is only 12,000. Oh, 13,000. And the maximum is only 12,000. This one does draw more amps, uh, 231 rated at, uh, and 169. So that is a plus for sure. But the weight, this one weighs 800, the, the 40 mil. This one weighs 962. So we're adding more weight. Now the RPMs, this is the maximum RPM. Forget that number, don't, don't worry about that. These are nothing to do with boats. If, if you wanna uh, work out the maximum RPM, motor you can put in a boat don't go off that number that's just a free revving number definitely not a number under load so forget that that um, is even there you want to be aiming for around about 30,000 roughly max for all of these type of motors so the big 5670 is actually less power 
if you went to the 5680, which is quite a bit dearer, um, it's it's actually got the same continuous power. Um, it's got more uh, max 13,000 compared with 15,000. Um, your amp drawer is surprisingly a little bit less. 231 with this one, 222. Uh, the weight is much more though, 800 grams compared with 1100 grams. Um, so, and it's quite a bit more expensive, more motor too. So this one will fit straight in. These two won't fit straight in. And you know, the power rating is actually, it's up there anyway, you know? All right, I think I'm gonna have a bit of trouble fitting this in because it's so long, it's gonna sort of come back right here. And I think it's gonna hit on here, maybe. I may have to raise this up, like put some spaces in here, or maybe make up another one, I don't know. I've just done it out of scrap. You can see all these cutaways from when I've had it in something else before. I don't know what it was for. But yeah, so... Uh, other thing I'm going to do is is I'm going to cable tie the motor around here, which means I'm going to put a put a slot in there, put a slot in there so I can run a cable tie around the top of the, the motor there. Alright, so that's it there next to the standard motor. You can see we've got a fair bit of difference there. Um, yeah. So, let's just see how this is going to go. Man, that makes a mess, that grease. It's good they have these cups here to hold it all in there. Uh, I'm going to have to put the collet on, but I'll just before I do that, just see what's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to break my wires out the back there. Look at that. I don't have trouble. Back of its. Let's see. It's fighting me. That might be a bit of a problem. Ooh. My cooling jacket is hitting on here. Not so much the motor. Okay. What I might do is just, rather than raising this, just cut this out here and cut this out there. Bang, bang. What a mess that made. But, solved the problem. Straight in. Alright. That's perfect. Um, yeah. I'm not saying you shouldn't put a 56 motor in one of these things. By all means, it's your boat. Do it. I just wanted to do... I went with the 40 mil mainly because it's just the easiest way to do it and a lot of people that watch you know my videos really want the easiest possible way so i'm not really sacrificing much in power i'm reducing weight compared to the 56 so you know there is a few advantages to it plus these are cheaper all right that's going to work nicely i think this is going to be in the way when i pop that back there so i'll have to rotate my yeah just have to slide that around and that is all I had to do maybe a bit more there we go alrighty now that this part the fat part of the cooler on this longer one is way back here I actually think the mount that came with this to go over the standard motor might actually fit that um, I would try it if I knew where it was, but you know, it'll turn up. We'll try it another day. Let's uh, get all this bolted in. So, this is the advantage of using uh, nut certs, which means I don't have to worry about holding a nut underneath when I do this up. Pretty good tool. Yeah. Uh, 
control. Alright. I better get to and start charging some batteries, I suppose. Let's see what this sucker does. Last two times Brock's driven this boat, uh, it's broke down. Broke it. First time we broke the, I shouldn't say we, he broke the stub shaft and the, lost the prop. And then we upgraded everything to 316, so that not going to break now. Nah, quarter inch. Not oh, quarter inch, yeah. Went from 316 stub, stub to a quarter. Uh, and then yesterday we smoked or well, cooked the motor pretty much just got too hot so now we're going down in kv same voltage which is 10s same prop which is 55 14 all right so i think brock should just drive it again he's broken it last two times so let's uh let's keep going with the breakage yeah. can't be trusted but oh well okay just don't go down too far that way brock just in case. We got an island over here guys and the wind is going that way so we do not want it to break down over there. Oh it's like 150 kV less than it was yesterday. And it's still going pretty strong. Yeah, it's still go back, do a cool down one on the way back. Do a takeoff up here. Just a just a full full speed thing. Ready? I'm ready. It's up to speed pretty quick. It does even with the soft takeoff. Yeah, and with that speed controller. Yeah, on the soft takeoff. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what kind of temps we got in there, Brock. That uh, seemed pretty successful. Yeah. Yesterday when we pulled the lid off, smoke poured out. Let's see if we got any of that expensive smoke coming out. Anything like yesterday, the lid was actually warm yesterday. So oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's cold to the touch. Oh. Where's the smoke? Just kept it in this time. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's good. Wow, it's cold. Okay, tell us what the motor is. Oh, yeah, go through everything. All right, yeah. 20, the lid flying away. 23 degrees on the speed control. It did feel cold. Yeah, 33 on 
batteries. The batteries, yeah, they're the same. And the big one on the actual it's giving us a problem. It's even on the cooler here, 34. Do it on the cooler? On the cooler, 38. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, that's that's totally fine. So that tells me I could probably run 12S on this. Yeah. Um, the terminal is sorry, 50 degrees as well. Okay. Remember that melted off oh, I do remember because yeah. I was soldering oh, this on this morning. How could I forget? Oh, yeah, see what the speed was. So we had 99 k's an hour yesterday. It's going to be slower with less kV, but I don't think it's going to be much slower because we've got a more powerful motor that's able to spin the same prop easier. Okay. 86. Oh, 86. So it's quite a bit slower, actually. Yeah, I thought it might be better than that. They're both say, well, this one says 85, that one says 86. So. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Oh well. But yeah, that tells us we can run 12S tomorrow with that prop. And we'll see what that actually does then.